The Palestinian cause has long been synonymous with violence, terrorism and Islamic fundamentalism. A new generation of pro-Palestinian activists are working to change that image. These young eloquent speakers, educated in Western universities, are making the rounds on news programs that violence only begets more violence and on university campuses advocating their vision for Palestine. We advocate rights. They're part of the BDS movement. The boycott, divestment and sanctions movement. And their message is clear. We need to boycott Israel. No one should buy Israeli products. They invoke humanist, progressive and socialist values. Quality freedom and dignity. Justice in Palestine. A democratic movement based on the struggle for human rights. And aim to garner the support of students, Thank you. Hey, Israel, Israel, trade unionists, Don't the resistance of the Palestinian people only. and even Jewish civil rights activists. BDS is particularly vigilant against any form of Palestinian-Israeli collaboration. The end of a collaborationist Palestinian leadership in January 2010, Palestinian and Israeli filmmakers joined together to produce a series of films for the 13th annual Tel Aviv University Film Festival. Murad Nasser is a Palestinian director. It is impressive of Tel Aviv University to bring Palestinian directors. This way we can use art to reach for peace using artistic and cinematic projects. The BDS leadership quickly denounced this collaboration and imposed a Palestinian boycott. In 2008, the Palestinian and Israeli trade unions signed a historic cooperation agreement. Shaha Saeed, General Secretary of the Palestinian Trade Union, praised the agreement for promoting the rights of Palestinian workers. BDS leadership, however, so was I outraged. I don't understand in the TUC how we continue to associate ourselves with Saeed was promptly forced to retract his statements and denounced any possible cooperation. <coughs> Palestinian El Quds University signed a statement of academic collaboration with Israel's Hebrew University, committing to a pursuit of knowledge through cooperation rather than boycotts. Al Quds University President Sari Nuseiba explains. And it's very important, in fact, to create tolerance, pluralism, the ability to listen to the other, and this can be done through this kind of education. Yet last year, under pressure from the BDS movement, sever your collaborations, do not go to academic meetings, do not. The university's board severed all ties with Israeli academic institutions. Maybe the only way to get at peace is through having cooperation. It's extremely important, an institutional boycott of Israeli academic and cultural institutions. Incidentally, Omar is a student at Tel Aviv University. The moderates, Israelis, Palestinians, doctors, academics, artists and peace activists, are in fact the principal victims of this self-labeled progressive social movement. What is it about Israeli-Palestinian collaboration that so threatens BDS? Moderates have been working towards a peaceful solution to the conflict since the 90s, under the guidelines of the widely accepted two-state solution. The only resolution is for the aspirations of both sides to be met through two states where Israelis and Palestinians each live in peace and security. This agreement permits to allow two peoples to live côte à côte in peace and security. A two-state solution. Time. That's the only solution to this issue. Two states where Israelis and Palestinians each live in peace and security. I clearly do not buy into the two-state solution. <laughs> I clearly do not buy into the two-state solution. The two-state solution, as typically expressed, is nothing more than a last-ditch plan to save Zionism. So BDS isn't about peaceful coexistence or ending the occupation. If the occupation ends, let's say, would that end your call for BDS? No, it wouldn't. No. BDS moves beyond ending occupation to place demands for what they term the right of return, the relocation of millions of Palestinians from around the world into Israel. This is the most basic fundamental right that we cannot negotiate away. This is something that we cannot compromise on. The right of return would extinguish Israel as a Jewish state, and that's not an option. This implication is not lost on Berghuti. If the refugees were to return, you would not have a two-state solution. You'll have a Palestine next to a Palestine. 
rather than a Palestine next to Israel. Yes, a one-state solution means the end of Zionism. Or as BDS activist Ronnie Casserles puts it, BDS will help bring about the defeat of Zionist Israel and victory for Palestine. These statements irrevocably shatter the veneer of progressive liberal language to reveal the true nature of BDS, a venomous, deceitful, anti-peace, anti-coexistence movement that will settle for nothing short of the annihilation of the Jewish state. We don't get fooled again.